I want you to go ahead and close your eyes, my friends. And as you close your eyes, I want you to take a few deep breaths. And as you slow down your world and as you slow down your movements, I want you to notice that your eyelids are becoming heavier and heavier and heavier to the point where you feel like they're getting so heavy you just don't want to open them. That heaviness feels so peaceful. And today you're giving yourself permission to let go. Let go of reacting. Let go of judging. And as you feel that heaviness in your eyelids, notice that that heaviness is moving all the way up to the top of your head now. Releasing any tension connected to that head area. And that heaviness is moving all the way down. Down your neck. Down your shoulders and your arms. Letting go. Letting go. Down your chest. Down your stomach. All the way down your lower body. All the way down to your toes. To the tips of your toes now. Feeling more and more relaxed in body. And if it's an unfamiliar feeling to be relaxed like this, then allow it to be unfamiliar. If it's uncomfortable, allow it to be uncomfortable. If it's comfortable, allow it to be comfortable. As you notice your thought clouds, all these ideas floating through your head, notice as you imagine one cloud coming into your awareness, a silly idea. And that cloud moving over the horizon as you wave goodbye to it. That's right. Becoming easier and easier to let these ideas go. And another idea coming into your awareness as a thought cloud. And notice how that idea floats away as you wave goodbye. It's becoming easier and easier to just let go of any of these thoughts or ideas or judgments right now. Feeling more and more calm in body, feeling more and more calm in mind. As one more thought cloud comes into your awareness and boom, there it goes. No need to attach whatsoever. That's right. Feeling calmer in body, feeling calmer in mind, feeling calmer in body. And feeling calmer in mind, loving this moment of connection with all of us. As you begin to tap into that beautiful imagination of yours. And in that imagination, I want you to notice that you're in your safe place. And in that safe place, it could be a forest, it could be a place you visited recently. It could be something that you just imagined. It could be in nature, it could be in a room, it doesn't matter. Anywhere that makes you feel safe, whatever comes up first, that's your safe place. And notice that as you're walking in that safe place, you notice what you see around you. One thing that you see that makes you feel more at peace, that makes you feel like you have progress. And when you see that one thing, it brings a smile to your face, doesn't it? That's right. It really, really does. And then you notice one thing that you can hear. One thing that you can hear in your safe place that makes you feel at peace. That makes you feel like you are making progress. That makes you feel at home. That's right. So connected. And this sound brings a smile to your face. And then you notice one thing that you can touch or is touching you. Maybe it's the wind, maybe the ground, whatever it may be. One thing that you can touch, maybe it's the tree that makes you feel so connected to this place as you feel safer and more connected by the moment. That's right. You're so grateful for this experience. And all these warriors around you right now are sending so much love, so much gratitude towards you. And as you continue walking in your safe place, you notice that you come across one person. One person. That person that has something to do with your fear, your irrational fears. The reason that you're here today, 
And you don't have to blame this person or be really upset with this person. You don't have to do any of that. Just be face to face with that person. Notice what feelings arise when you're face to face with this person that contributed to your fears possibly the most. That's right. As you experience those feelings, let them be there. Let them be there in all their strength. Because you are now truly a warrior. And you're able to just feel something without adding to it. That's right. And as you take a step back from this person, I want you to go ahead. And I want you to notice what area of your body you're holding on to the fear. You're holding on to all that irrational fear. Maybe there's anger there. Maybe there's guilt, blame, unforgiveness, whatever it is. Where in your body have you stored the most fear? As you notice, I want you to notice what color is connected to that fear hanging on in that part of your body. And you know what? This person across you has everything to do with the fear that you're holding on to. So it's time to give it back to them. Not in an angry way. Not in a hateful way. But just give it back to them. Begin pulling out all that fear right now. Pull, 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 pull. And as you're pulling all that fear and that color of fear, I want you to make a big pile in front of you between you and that other person. As you pull, feelings will show up. As you pull, these feelings will turn into deep emotions. As you pull, whatever comes up, comes up and comes out of you. That's right. If you feel like you're yawning, shaking, or sweating, that's a good thing. Pull, 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 and add more to that pile because this no longer belongs to you. This no longer belongs to you. That's right. We're going to give it back today to who it belongs to. Not in a hateful way, but you know what? Today's that day where you start to come into your own. Make that pile nice and big. That's right. Notice any other parts of your body where you may be holding on to that fear and pull from that area as well. That's right. That pile is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And you are feeling lighter and lighter and lighter because you realize that you no longer have to hold on to any of this. That's right. Now, take a moment to stop pulling and notice how you feel. And whatever you feel is right. And I want you to move around that pile and give that person the biggest hug that they've ever received. Give them the hug and tell them that you've forgiven them at a heart level. I forgive you. I forgive you for myself because I need to move forward from this. I forgive you. I forgive you from my heart, not just from my head. I forgive you from my heart. That's right. Have that moment. Share that moment. Relive this moment as you move forward in your life. Relive this moment each and every day of forgiveness. As you forgive this person, you forgive yourself. That's right. And as you pull away now, you can begin walking away from this person, walking away from the pile, knowing you've given it back to them. And as you walk away, you are walking towards your true identity. As you continue walking in your safe place, that's right, you notice that just ahead, there's someone that looks like you. This person has an aura around them that is so powerful so strong, so healing. And as you get closer and closer to this person, you realize this is you in the future. As you come face to face with this person, notice how good it feels to be in their energetic field. You feel so different. 
you feel alive, you feel at peace, and you feel like you can let go. That's right. And in a moment, I'm going to count from one to five. And when I get to five, you are literally going to step into this identity in mind, body, and spirit. And as you step in, you are going to become this person. You are going to feel everything that this person feels and think the way this person thinks. One, two, three, four, five. Step into that identity now. Whoosh. Notice the feelings arising in your body. That's right. Notice how good it feels to be free. Notice how good it feels to be healed. Healing can be so easy. As you step into this person, notice how you look around and you see everything differently. No longer is it black and white. Everything has beautiful color to it. As you give yourself the biggest self-hug you've ever given yourself, go ahead. Physically, give yourself that self-hug right now. Because you stepped into this identity that you are becoming and allow yourself to be free. Give yourself permission to be free. Give yourself permission to be all loving. Give yourself permission to see your true self-worth. Give yourself permission to be anxiety-free right now, right here, and forever. That's right. As you go through this self-hug, allow the tears to show up if they may. There's no holding back. This is the safest place you'll ever be. That's right. And as you allow, you give yourself permission to be free. Free from all that fear because it's already gone. The pile is gone. You've forgiven. The pile is gone. That's right. And I'm going to count from 1 to 10 now. When I get to 10, only when I get to 10, your eyes will open up. And when your eyes will open up, you'll see the world from a whole new pair of lenses. That's right. And you'll no longer be forcing anything. You'll allow this feeling to continue into your physical world, knowing that you deserve it, knowing that you've already given yourself permission to become it, because healing can be this easy. One, two, taking all the progress you just made from this exercise into the physical world now. Three, four, letting go, letting go, letting go. Five, six, no longer ever being what anybody wants you to be like. No longer feeling that pressure. Seven. Eight, being free from your fears through your tears now. It's okay to go there. Nine and ten, when you're ready, you can open up your eyes. And as you open up your eyes gently and compassionately, you can feel in your heart that you did something that is truly magnificent, that is truly transformational. And I want you to feel the gratitude right now of having gone through this experience with me. I want you to notice how good it feels to just be, not be caught up in thought, not be caught up in what to do, but just the feeling of looking around and just being. Give yourself this gift. And comment below on the greatest lesson that you learned from this experience so you can keep this lesson at a deep heart level and you can let the rest go.